Hey guys, welcome to your Unit Zero video lesson artist structure. We're going to be talking about procedures in the classroom or studio, and we're going to be discussing a featured artist and how to post your work to Schoology. Hey Brad, what's up? That Insta's looking lit, bro. Just put your phone away. Jeez. Well, I better put my phone away. We're going to get started. Let me set up my station as well. Whether you are a drawer, a painter, or a photographer, you are going to have to prepare your station before each project. Perfect, man! Alright! Josh, don't forget you're due now, dude. Alright, I'm done in my due now. Better get started with my project for the day. Before we get started with our project, we need to learn a little about our featured artist, John Langdon. He is an independent graphic designer, writer, and typography professor at Drexel University, best known for his ambigrams, and most notably those in Dan Brown's best-selling novel, Angels and Demons. Ambigrams are logos, words as art, words that can be read equally well from more than one point of view. So now that we know a little about ambigrams, we're going to make our own. You want to go to the website flipscript.com and I'm just going to refresh it here so I can show you what happens when you go to the website. It's a terms of service agreement. Okay, typically this just tells you how they use the websites. This is about artist artwork preview license, copyrights and things of that nature. Okay, service use restrictions, respect for others and ownership. So all of this is very important to know for artwork and we're going to get into a lot more of this in our next coming lessons. For right now, click I agree. You can use any word that you want to use as long as it has at least five letters. So I use my first name, it's a five letter word. Type in your name, click the font that you would like add thorns. What thorns are, are those little curves and the insides of letters where they connect in the old English fonts. Make preview and you see how this is my name, N-A-O-M-I and any way you turn it, it's going to be the same, okay? Once you have your design, what you're then going to do is you can take a photo of it and you're going to redraw it. You can redraw it on an 8x10 piece of copy paper, you can redraw it on a napkin, um, or if you choose to create a hard portfolio out of a poster board, you can create you can draw it on that. And then if you do choose to create a hard portfolio. You can watch the video to create that as well. If not, then just remember that we are storing all of our information in Schoology on our digital portfolio. Oh, hey Sam, good job at the game last night. Oh, guys, it looks like it's about time to clean up. I better put all my stuff away. I'm out of here. So we're going to be using Schoology to upload all of our artwork in. Make sure you know how to get there. You should since we've been working online since March. Just in case you don't, you want to go and click on your MySpring ISD, click in the Schoology tab. You'll have all your classes set up. We are going to use this welcome folder in our high school section one, how to submit your artwork. So you have to submit your artwork in two locations. My art assignment is where your teacher is going to grade your work and student artwork album. This is your portfolio. 
Make sure that you follow these steps to submitting your art exactly as they are here. It is very easy step by step on how to submit your artwork and name it and add it to the folder that you need to add it to. You can go back and look at this video anytime you need to. You can go back and look at this resource in your high school section welcome folder. That will tell you how to submit your artwork. Make sure that you submit to places every time something is due.